So another franchise by the bullet. Hopefully GTA 6 is not gonna be one of them because the stuff that's going on right now in gaming absolutely insane like the video if you believe that there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are more than 5,000 genders but get ready for the climax there boo boo roll it diversity equity and inclusion dei it's spreading all throughout the entertainment industry and even if you don't think it's coming for your favorite property yeah. unfortunately uh -oh. you would be wrong yeah yeah i did a video on it recently because a lot of people are worried about gta 6 after what rockstar did i, I will link you in uh, at the end yeah this is the only uh, franchise that that i don't want it going woke bro like is that am i coping am i not coping let me know i think it's gonna be a little bit woke but is it gonna be like full-blown woke that's the part i i i hope it's not but wait Aww. for it prove me wrong kids prove me wrong look at that this is absolutely insane guys holy crap like when you look at what they just did it's just insane look at that bro like they ch they changed an already existing character to <laughs> to this it's a main right now it's a main me wrong <laughs> It is a disease, and like any disease, if you do not deal with the disease early on and you allow it to spread throughout the body, it will ultimately kill the body. And that is what it's doing to all different properties within the entertainment industry. And it will spread even beyond the entertainment industry, and it has in a lot Sadly. of ways. But specific to these videos, we are talking about the entertainment industry. And one company that a lot of people have had faith in that this would not affect is Nintendo. And unfortunately, even Nintendo is being affected by this. Bruh. It's insane. Everybody was like, <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen to Japan. Japanese people, and they're not gonna do it. Nintendo be like, hold my beer. Uh, komi, konnichiwa. Hold my beer, bruh. Hold my beer. <laughs> I wish I, I knew how to say how hold my beer in uh, Japanese. Let me learn that real quick. Pokemon go to the polls. We had reports uh, about a month ago that the Pokemon company doubles down on wokeness with job listing for director of yeah, absolutely insane. So how do you say? Watashi no biru o mottete. Watase no biru mottete. Yeah, yeah, that's what Nintendo said. Of diversity, Bruh. equity, inclusion, and social responsibility. <laughs> Why would you have a fake job like this? if you were not going down the ESG rabbit hole, the DEI rabbit hole, the woke rabbit hole. Put another yeah. gay uh -oh. diverse woman in it, make it more fucking lit. Of course, this uh -oh. is what they are doing. Nint After this video, my ESG score is plummeting. Like the video if you want to see my ESG score plummet even more. I I'm cool with it. I'm cool no with it. Nintendo is not immune to this, unfortunately. And I say that as a fan of Nintendo, it sucks. But the reality of it is, is this is where we are. I'm going to throw up. No, kid, I need your help. I'm going to throw up. Now we have this post right here from Pokemon Go over on Twitter. And it says, trainers, your avatar can now look even oh, more like man. you. We're excited oh. to announce that the new avatar customization options are now live in Pokemon Go. Why? Why? What? And if you look at this but image why? right here, you're seeing a lot of backlash. People are looking at this going, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, hell no. And if you go to the replies, they're absolutely fantastic. You have Madam Savvy here who says, who suggested this change and why to the yeah. anatomy? Why were the small indents on the women's hips adjusted at all? Why not? Like they, they flattened the chest a little bit, right? Like the hips and made her stand like a man. And I'm not sure if he's going to bring this up or not. Like I, I covered this in the last video as well. But look at that, bro. Like, look at that. This is the before. This is, this is, this is the before. This is the after. Stunning and brave, right? Stunning and brave, guys. And somebody, <laughs> somebody also took the ideal human male proportions and look at that, bro. Like, it's a perfect match. Oh, shit. It's a perfect goddamn match. It's a perfect match, bro. It's a perfect match. Holy. Add more variation options in clothing and ha hairstyles instead. I'd like to ask about a partnership as well that I discovered. An activist group who lists you as a client. I'd like to know if they had any hand in this. And there is a sweet baby ink esque type of company that Pokemon Go has been involved in. Wow! Wow! Here's Grums who says, Who's behind the Pokemon Go app gender erasure? Turns out the makers of Pokemon Go consulted with a sweet baby ink style consultancy firm, Gamer. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh my God. X. Did this lead to the changes? These firms need to go. And how these many, are some of the cons- How many firms there are? Sweet Baby Inc, Black Girl Gamers, now Gamer X. There was another one. I'm forgetting. There's another one. Like, I'm forgetting. Like, any any of you know? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like, damn. There's like new, uh, these are popping. Like, there are new, uh, <laughs> like, diversity DEI firms just popping left and right, bro. How many consultancy? How many consultant groups we need, bro? Just make good games. That's it. That's what gamers need. That's what gamers want. You don't, if you're a game dev, you're a gaming publisher, you do not need these consultants. Like, this is insanely stupid, though. First of all, you put a lot of uh, time into making your game. You put men hour, you put money into making your game right. You put that budget in the marketing department as well. You you have to hire devs, you have to hire like social media managers and they ruin your image first of all, right? They, they come on and be, and they're definitely, uh, how many times we have seen a community manager be racist, right? So j just make sure they are not first of all, simple as that, okay? You're putting all of this money into games and then you go ahead and you hire Sweet Baby Inc. and these uh, gaming consultants, so-called gaming consultants that first of all don't even like gamers, they, they hate gamers, they hate gaming, they hate everything about it, they simply want to ruin your projects, you have put so much effort, I would like to believe you have put a little bit of effort, right? So you have put effort into it money into it and then you pay money to these groups that don't even care about you and not and not and, and they don't care about the gamers either nor your projects you waste your money there and then it's like nobody want to buy your game after that and you see like a dip in sales uh people are hating your game your projects uh, fans actually fans are despising it not liking it why do it though that's different kind of stupid bruh consulting and training uh practices that gamer x has has on their site <laughs> Gay! now here you have gamer x and this is on their website and it says consulting and training gamer x is proud oh. to offer consulting and training services to the games industry for a modern gaming audience <laughs> as part of our mission to support and celebrate lgbtqia plus people and culture in games we offer a selection of l oh my god they're just saying it again we offer a selection of alphabet people centered training curricula as well as customer Customized solutions designed to advance diversity, equity, visibility, and inclusion in gaming. Oh, Peter, I need you to hold oh my, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> We serve individuals and businesses working on the video game and tabletop industries, Why? including independent game developers, game studios of all sizes, publishers, media outlets, and more. And Vol Volition had to shut down, no, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like, after Saints Row. Yeah, Saints Row was made by Volition. I see, like, I don't even remember, right? Bruh. I don't even remember who made it. Like, that's how bad it turned out to be. Like, bruh, I don't even know, bro. This is this is sad. <laughs> this is this is sad and hilarious as well. I don't know what's going on in gaming. Can y'all suckers just leave one game alone? Can you? Okay, I hope they. Yeah, yeah. I hope they don't turn Jason into a female or Lucia into a man, bro. Yeah, uh, just leave GTA 6 alone, bro. Just leave GTA 6 alone, man. These suckers are definitely definitely jumping around, bro. And it just kind of goes through all of their bullshit that they offer about their consultations. Consultations, which essentially just means, hey, you need to do everything that we say or we're going to call you a racist and a sexist, yada, yada, yada. Everything yeah. is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything yeah. is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. Um, right. Here. What did what did she say? Uh, hey, CD Project Red, I'm always available for <laughs> consulting because it sure sounds like that you might need it before the whole of the internet drags you for what sounds like some potentially sexist representations. Which we all know you've struggled with in the past, bruh. bruh. Meanwhile, CD Projekt Red had a lot of the representation, but in a right way, though. You know, nobody necessarily complained about Cyberpunk. And there's a reason why people didn't... Yeah, sure, some people didn't like it, and yeah, that's your right, that's fair. But generally speaking, nobody necessarily complained about Cyberpunk. Multiple factors. Number one, you know, we weren't seeing crazy amount of woke stuff in games, okay? So, yeah... See, uh, Cyberpunk had it, whatever. And, and number two, the main reason why people didn't complain about Cyberpunk having that crap is because they were not pushing agendas down their players and audience throat. They just made the characters, it made sense, it made sense. 
Simple as that. That's how, that, that's why, right? But if they were pushing agendas, then absolutely people would have been talking a lot more about it. Everything is racist. Everything is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. Um, yeah, right here again, Grum says, the Pokemon avatar changes are pissing off all real women who got their trainers destroyed by unnecessary DEI changes. This wasn't to appeal to women. It already appealed to women. DEI and ESG initiatives Damn. ruin games and will cost Pokemon Go app millions. They gave her like a boy's ass. Though, Bruh. like, yeah, they they look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, bro. They nerfed the Burna, though. They nerfed the Burna, uh, and that, that's a man's ass. They give her a man ass there. No butts, no weight, no hips, and here's a Chad jaw. So, as you can see, some of these images, these are terrible. Yeah. These look, she was a princess here, now she's like stunning and brave, right there. Yeah, look awful and it's only going to get worse from here they're going to destroy everything that they possibly can yeah and they were screaming at gdc we huh? have this tweet right here from learning the law and it this was back in march and it says these are some 2024 changes and it talks about all of the changes that they were going to be making and if you look at the difference in these avatars this speaks volumes right here this speaks volumes as to what they were going for holy, holy shit crap. this looks yeah like look at the mansion you know damn that chin be stronger than buzz light your chin though <laughs> oh my god bro oh my god y'all see us really doing that why why y'all doing it why but why but why but why uh skin color change a little bit as well right chest flat flattened a little bit okay let me actually remove the face cam here you you, you can see now more yeah hips uh standing like a man arms a little bit looking like a man as well a little bit a little bit not nah, not necessarily but standing like a man absolutely yeah i know when a man is standing tall though yeah that's how i stand though uh yeah they changed it shoddy was kind of low-key hot on the other side and yeah they're absolutely go. terrible verbal riot here has shot shoddy not kind of hot is what i'm trying to say a great great comment and he was talking about stellar blade but he was also making a bigger point about video games in general let's listen to this clip really quick what they're trying uh -oh. to do and if you notice with these ugly characters is these characters look almost mannish it's a man baby yeah. Yeah. there's a reason for that again this could be just my conspiracy theory they're trying to blur the lines between men and, and women female. see yeah. it's all part of the programming yeah, social engineering. Now, when I say programming, I'm not talking about the actual programming it takes to make a video game. Nah, I'm talking about social program. Yeah. Right? So, social engineering. Social engineering. Who plays video games more? The target Kids. demographic is youngins. Kids, yeah. Kids. And as you can see, that yeah, goes yeah. into their entire... Yeah, uh, and, uh, the, and they know that. They know that. It's just uh, dudes like around my age that are uh, that are aware of what, all the bullcrap that's happening. And we are the ones that are talking about it. And we're against it, obviously. Kids are not. Because they, they, don't, they don't understand. And yes, obviously, they don't need to understand it. They don't need to know this crap. They And we also shouldn't be talking about this. We just... Be, people want to play their games to escape... And and chill out and now they're pushing all of this wool crap and as we dive right into the main event real quick guys i want to say this is my twitter uh this is my uh, instagram if you use any of these platforms uh feel free to follow i would love to have you and we're surely gonna try and live stream uh soon ish uh, I i'm trying i'm trying this is my twitch account so twitch everything is skizzlex all the links are in the description below i would love to have you around all right let's get back to the content now boo boo goal as to what they are doing and why they are doing stuff like this gamers are sick and tired of this shit general people are tired of this shit average moviegoers have been rejecting yeah. this no one likes this stuff and they are going to continue to call this out are you retarded but how much <laughs> impact will it have time will <laughs> tell but hey, I hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa do you feel like going after the gaming industry now they've been doing this for a while in a very subtle way but it really has taken in the next level step in the last year and they have been getting more backlash than any other industry that they have tried to ruin yeah. so the gaming industry is standing up against Hell this yeah. bullshit so time honestly bro like gamers uh, you know what shout out to the gamers man 
I, I, yeah, bro, like, I, I, I've been seeing, like, a lot of, like, gaming channels talk about it, and a lot of gaming channels are also not talking about it, I mean, fair, it's, um, some, one, some will talk about it, others, they're scared of losing sponsorships and all that, I get it, though, it's like, you cannot force, so, whatever, you, you know, people that are talking, you know, people that aren't talking about it, and, and some find it problematic, some don't, perfectly fine by me, but, but here's the thing, though, right, like, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, even like moviegoers are talking, don't get me wrong, but gamers are loud. But here's the thing though, I'm, I'm gonna be very, very blunt and honest with you. Boycotts, generally, I know you're not gonna like this. And I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong as well. I wanna be proven wrong, absolutely. Boycotts, generally speaking, in gaming do not work. They simply don't work. I hate to say it, but it's the honest truth, okay? We haven't seen it work. Now, if a game turns out to be glitchy, buggy, and just a complete mess, then understandable, it's gonna underperform. But somebody is still gonna buy it. Bruh. For example, Saints Row, the worst game of all time, one of the worst game of all time. It was buggy, it was like glitchy, and the content was just not there. I'm not even talking about the woke crap it had. I'm not even, yeah, forget about that, right, for a second. The game, generally speaking, wasn't that good, and I was actually kind of low-key looking for it. I was like, this game is gonna carry me till GTA 6, and it couldn't even carry us till GTA 6 teaser trailer. Bruh. Or the trailer reveal, right? Or the trailer date when they revealed announced the trailer date, you know what I'm saying? It couldn't even carry us till then. Hogwarts Legacy, obviously, it had a little, uh, it had like a little bit of that woke representation, but they did it to please, but it kind of backfired, uh, and uh, the wokies were still mad that you can never please the wokies. It had like a transformer character in the in the game, I believe, right? The bartender. Which, uh, I mean, yeah, fine, you can have one representation, okay? They tried having that, and ev even then they were mad, which tells you that you, you give them your finger, they take a, they take a, they take your entire har arm. They take, they, you give them an inch, they take a mile, right? That, that's the old saying, and it's kind of true. So you can never please them. So they try to, the Wookiees try to, in, in this case, it's kind of understandable. They try to boycott, obviously, wouldn't, it wasn't gonna work because the game was good, and also it's Harry Potter. People love it. I love it as well. You know, I grew up watching the franchise and watching the movie, so it makes total sense, right? So in the case of Hogwarts Legacy, we cannot use this as a case study, but like Call of Duty, right? And also Call of Duty, the name is so big. So yeah, when the Nick Merck situation happened, yeah, obviously some people didn't buy the game and it did affect the sales, but it's like, you know, in the long run, didn't necessarily affect them that much. So yeah, point is that gamers are loud, they talk, but generally speaking, Gamers just biased, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. But but it's good that gamers are talking, so we gotta actually talk about the positives. The positives here is that at least gamers are talking and they're against it, so that's good. I'll tell if it's gonna have any real impact. I guess. You hold the door! I'll go get help! What? But I appreciate you guys checking out this video. I thank yeah. you for this video, and I hope... And, and guys, this is our last video that we've done on GTA 6. Is GTA 6 going woke? What? happened recently you want to know what happened check out this video on the screen on the left though this video is on my second channel the ufo channel we recently made a massive conspiracy video you're gonna absolutely love it if you are into ufo stuff check it out and i'll see you right there